Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial on my game Vibrant Spectrum. I just wanted to show a few things about the touch controls that I didn't find anywhere else, and I thought it was pretty interesting. I followed a great YouTube video by Dev Squad about touch controls and swiping. I'll attach that in the description if anyone's interested. That's how I kind of started this project. But anyways, to get going. So basically what this is about is picking things up and moving them around on screen in relevance to where you're touching. And like dropping them, for example. Um, I'm not going to go over dropping them because there's a lot of variables involved. But basically what you'll do is you'll create a custom event, create a if branch, and see get input touch state and see if it is currently pressed. That's the if you're checking to see if you're touching. And that's just attached to player controller. From there, you'll take the X and Y locations and deproject screen to world. What that's doing is taking the location from the screen that you're touching and converting it to the world. Um, attach that to player controller as well. From the if branch, you're taking that and setting the actor relative location. Now, you can't just take the deproject screen to world and attach it to actor relative location because it's not going to work properly. It's going to stay in the center and move around slowly in relevance of your touch, but not actually move where you're touching. So that's where the touch strength comes in uh, handy. Now, I don't know what the best word or name for this variable would be, but I just called it touch strength to just to call it that. Um, and the best number I found for my project is 45 for that variable and you're just multiplying the X and Y world positions and the deproject screen to world and converting it, multiplying it uh, by the touch strength and sending it to the new relative location X and Y and set act relative location. Now with this event, where will you put this? Where I put it is in the tick. But I'm checking if first we're sending it to the event begin play because I don't like running things through tick all the time. Making a loop in a timeline, just looping it. That's just literally looping it. And then sending it to a sequence so I can check multiple things. And from there we're checking is picked up. So basically if you have something picked up, which when you touch it, it activates this variable, it is picked up. So when you touch it, it'll be picked up. That's then setting the location when picked up, which is this event right here we just went over. And it'll constantly move that event while it's picked up to your location on the screen that you're touching. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it hel it's helpful for future projects for anyone and everyone. Thank you for watching.